Hey y'all, it's Mac back with another video. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Mac Norris, where on this channel I post reseller related content. So if you like content like that, definitely hit the subscribe button. And in today's video, we will be discussing 10 items I've sold on eBay for over $50. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first item I sold was a pair of Nike Air Max 95s. And I got these from the thrift store, specifically Goodwill. And these pair of 95s were pretty beat. They had them priced for, I think, $8. So I definitely bought them. And I cleaned it up a little bit and I got $60 for this pair of shoes. And probably could have got more, but you know, I didn't want to clean it up too much. I just wanted to flip it real quick and get that cash. So, yep, pair of 95s for $60. The next item I sold was a pair of Nike Vapor Untouchable Pro 3. And these are a camel uh, colorway. And I bought these from Burlington. I know y'all probably seen these cleats if you are a reseller. And some people don't grab them, but I definitely did. And... I sold them for $60 and I made like probably like a quick $20, $25 profit. So yeah, you know, easy money, quick flip. Let's get it. Next item I sold was a pair of Kuru Chicane men's hiking shoes. And I was definitely surprised because these shoes sold for $70 and they were used. And I bought these shoes from Goodwill goodwill baby and i bought these shoes for like seven or eight dollars and they sold pretty quick so anytime i go into the thrift stores i just go straight to the shoe section i don't look at clothes or anything like that not really like that anymore so if i see them again you know i'm gonna buy it the next item i sold was a jersey it was a nike uh, los angeles lakers lebron james jersey and this was a huge size. Well, I guess it's huge to me because I'm a medium. And this was uh, 3XL, so pretty big. And it sold for $75. And I think I bought it for like 20 bucks or 25 bucks. And, you know, it was a pretty good flip. And I bought this from Ross. So, you know, if you're sleeping on jerseys, don't because you can make some good money on it. The next item I sold was a pair of Nike sportswear Sherpa fleece jogger type pants and these sold for 90 bucks and I bought these from Ross and um, I don't remember exactly what I paid for them but I think it was only like $20 like it wasn't a lot at all and uh, I was happy to sell these because um, I only found one pair and I wish I would have found more, but it is what it is. Please be on the lookout for Nike Sportswear items because they sell for good money. The next item I sold was a pair of Nike Vapor Zoom X. Okay, that was kind of whack, but <laughs> Nike Zoom <laughs> tennis shoes. And these sold for 104 sorry, $105. And... Um, Bought these from, I want to say Burleson. Yeah, I know for a fact they were Burleson. I remember buying like three pair and they all sold. I think the other one sold for like $5 more, but it is what it is. But I was happy to uh, find these shoes and sell them. And I always look out for tennis shoes, like not regular sneakers, but oh well, I look out for sneakers, but definitely look out for tennis shoes because you can make some good money on some tennis shoes. The next item I sold was a pair of Nike Free Run Flyknit um, running shoes. And these were new in a box. And I bought these from Marshalls. Yeah, I remember buying like, I think I bought like three or four pair new in a box. And the first two sold really quick. And these took a while to sell because they were size 12 and a half and y'all know 12 and a half is one of those like kind of rare sizes so it is what it is it sold for full asking price so i'm not mad and i definitely made some good money on it so definitely be on the lookout for nike free run the fly knit though like some of the nike free runs they don't sell that much but fly knit that's cash baby that's cash baby that's cash baby 
the next item I sold was a pair of Nike Air Max 270s. And these sold for $109. And I believe I bought these from Ross. So definitely be on the lookout. I mean, I don't think I need to tell you to be on the lookout for Air Maxes. But yeah, if you sell sneakers for over $100 on eBay, there's no fees associated with it. So I don't know how long this is going to last, but I'm taking full advantage of this no fee guarantee thing they got going on over here <laughs> so the next item i sold was a pair of cleats and these pair of cleats are called nike mercurial superfly 7 elite cleats and these sold for 149 dollars and um i think i bought these cleats for honestly i want to honestly say 20 dollars and i believe i bought them from um Marshalls I want to say Marshalls but I'm not too sure right now but I only bought them for $20 and I was so happy to sell these and just be on the lookout for elite cleats because uh right now they're selling but I think it's starting to maybe die down because I think most of the people uh that needed to buy cleats probably bought them up right now but you know still pick them up because uh if you wait they will sell for a lot. So be on the lookout. So the last item that I sold on eBay was a pair of Nike Air Bacon Blackout um, Tim Hardaway shoes. These sold for $195 and obviously I didn't pay any fees, but um, I bought these from Goodwill actually. Um, these were the like showcase type of shoes. Um, I think I paid up for these. I think I paid like 30 something dollars to 40 something dollars, but you know, was $30 to $200, you feel me? So I was glad I bought these shoes and be on the lookout. I mean, they came with the box and stuff. So I'm pretty, I don't know if you will find it in the thrift stores with the box, even with the receipt. So. I don't know, but definitely be on the lookout because if you find them, they will sell. All right, that was it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Definitely hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up, you know. Help me grow. Help your boy grow. So, thank you for watching. Peace.